I do songwriting retreats in Rosemary Beach, Florida. And I was down there with a few buddies, John Osier, Billy Montana, Joe Leathers, and all great songwriters. And Kelly was on Dancing with the Stars Yeah, the I was in the middle of doing it since then. Yeah, time. and I just called her and she said, what are you doing, baby? And I said, well, I'm about to write a song. She's like, well, why don't you write a song for me? I'm like, okay, we're gonna do it. And next thing you know, the title Ain't No Cure For Crazy came up. I don't know where he got that from, but I've been called worse, so I'll take it. More Than Memory absolutely changed my life. I wrote it with Billy Montana and Lee Bryce. When we found out that Garth Brooks was cutting it, and it was gonna be his first single on the Ultimate Hits album, we freaked out. We could not believe it. It ended up being the first song in the history of country music that debuted at number one, and just blew our minds. It's amazing. I mean, we, I mean, so for us, it's just, it's all downhill from there. Kelly, when she was on Dancing with the Stars, asked me to play the song live. This was the first week that we were able to pick the music. They told us which dance we were performing but we got to pick the song we danced to. The theme that week was most memorable year ever. My best year ever was the year that we got hitched. And I said, hey baby, um, just bring your guitar. You're gonna be singing with the band. And then... Lo and behold, it was just me singing all by myself. It was one of the most memorable moments of my life. That's awesome.